got an exciting segment for you. Uh, it's all about uh, an emerging trend, emerging opportunities, called, all about building analytics, uh, energy optimization, uh, energy analysis, equipment optimization, all these great pieces. And, and in our industry today, the, there's new software tools that are coming out, and CE, Controls and Equipment, is now putting together a services package that we're calling Sentinel Analytics. And Sentinel Analytics is going to be able to look across your building portfolio and help you optimize and save energy, ensuring that your equipment is operating efficiently and, and all of those good things. So what I'll do right now is we're going to jump into a quick demo of Sentinel Analytics products and show you what can be done. So here we are, we're looking at an energy tool and it's, it's providing us with energy information that's showing the consumption in uh, electrical usage for today. Um, you can quickly go through here and start drilling in if you want to look at demand, you can look at demand. You can also uh, normalize the data if you, if you choose to by degree day or by area. So sometimes it's nice to be able to do that. Um, so if we want to, we can go in here and we can rank. Let's rank these facilities high to low and see what we see. So we can see headquarters is consuming as a lot more demand of energy, but let's look at it from a consumption perspective. So we'll jump into consumption. Now you can see headquarters still consuming a lot more, but now let's normalize that uh, by area and see how the buildings are performing relative to each other in square feet. Now you can see headquarters is a lot more efficient in terms of its total square area. And if you want to, you don't have to look at today's data. Let's jump out and look at the data for this graph for last week, or we could do month or year or a range. So now it's going out getting the data and it's going to come back and present it. Okay. We've also got the ability to look at uh, operational level data. So here we are, we're looking at, we have to pick a site. So I've already pre-selected Bonaire, but you could go back and, and, and select a different town. Here we are looking at a facility in Gaithersburg. Uh, we select a meter that we want to look at. And now that information is being pulled from the, from the uh, database and it's being presented to us. Here we're looking at demand. Okay, but the, the amazing thing about this graph is it's showing us what's occurring within the facility at a specific point in time and how it's affecting our energy consumption. So I could see, when does my rooftop unit one cooling come on? Does that have an impact on energy consumption? Yes, it does. Okay, so you can start to see this. Now, it's also important when you're looking at what uh, characteristics of your building to be able to turn uh, and, and see, see what's happening with the weather. Maybe there's a reason why uh, energy consumption is going up or down. So the tool has a full weather database and you can see what's what's happening in your weather for your specific location and if you want to you just click on the graph anywhere and it gives you a full listing of all of the information points uh, at, that, at that period in time. We've also got the ability to look at profile uh, of your building. This is looking at daily average uh, but we could just as easily look at load duration. So now it's going to look at load duration for the Gaithersburg electrical main meter for today. But now, let's look at it and let's look at it over the last year. So this is going to go out and pull all of the data from 2010 for these meters at Gaithersburg and present that. Now that's a lot of data that we're looking at, but it's presenting it very quickly. <laughs> Again, you can, you can do some other different pieces, you could normalize, maybe you don't want to look at what's happening on the weekends or you don't want that affecting it, so you just look at weekdays and you hit OK. So these are some of the powerful tools that Sentinel Analytics provides you with on the energy analysis piece. Now I'm going to show you what can happen when it comes to the, the building level. So when you think about it, we've been putting building automation systems into facilities for 20 years. Lots of data points are being measured and monitored, and they've been being archived. Now we can go take that archive data and actually put some meaning to it and add some relevance to it. So now, it's, and you can create rules, you can create issues that you want to look at across your data set. So here we are, we're looking at uh, the, the dashboard view, and it's showing you what's happening at Carytown yesterday. Were there any issues that you should look at? Yes, there were. Carytown had a rooftop unit temp sensor failure. What about Inner Harbor? It had two issues. So let's click in here and look at it in a little bit more detail. So now we can see uh, what the issues are, when they've been occurring, how long they've been going on, and if we look at it, uh, rooftop unit one had two issues. Let's click in and look at that. 
and the database, because you've been tagging the information and adding relevance to the data, we're automatically pulling up all of the relevant sources of data to help us diagnose what's going on in your facility. Again, it's all about adding value. It's all about looking at your facility, to helping you to optimize equipment and identifying issues that may be important to you. So here we're looking at weather data, we're looking at whether the equipment's have, having any issues, and all the relevant pieces of data that are, that are there. So that's a quick summary, that's a quick overview of what Sentinel Analytics is all about. Um, I'd, I'd like to invite you to come to our website, controlsequipment.com, you know, sales of controls equipment. Uh-oh. Does this make your breakfast or coffee or anything? Uh, it can, maybe 20 years from now. Okay. <laughs> I'm just looking forward to it. <laughs> that's Pat Manning, President of Controls and Equipment. I guess just making sure we're doing our work, right? Uh, but anyway, yeah, stop by our website, controlsequipment.com, check out our, our Facebook sites, YouTube, uh, Twitter accounts, look for Controls Equipment, and uh, yeah, we're excited about where this is going and hope you can add value to your facility. Thank you.